Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. 22nd of February today, we've had another storm, another small snowstorm last night. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look around, and I'm in the process of making a few winter patties for the bees. I've put a little bit of pollen in here, so it's still less than 5% protein in there. Uh, but right now, they're still a bit too soft to still a bit too soft to tip out of the tin because I made them a little bit wet and so they're now they're still really soft so I'll have to let them dry for another day before I tip them out of the mold I'll have a look outside It's only three or four inches of snow, but on top of the other snow, it makes it look like we've had quite a bit. Snow is falling off the solar panels. It certainly is beautiful out there. So for those of you who are watching in more southern climates who've just had to deal with a bit of snow, I apologize. It must be a bad experience, but uh, this is what we have to get used to here. But it does make for a bit of a winter wonderland. So snow is quite a good thing in the bee yard. It, uh, it acts as a bit of an insulator, breaks up any wind. Uh, so although the weather now, we're really past that really cold polar vortex, the, uh, we're not really desperately needing insulation now, but a bit of insulation helps because inside all of these hives, there'll be a cluster of brood developing. And if there's brood developing, they need to conserve heat. Even the snow's only just fallen, you can see some dead bees on the snow. These are all empty nukes, if you've ever wondered when you've seen these shots. This is why you put on an upper entrance on the hives as well, because you can see these hives, their lower entrance is buried, but the other upper entrance still allows bees to get in and out. Let's go and have a bit of a closer look. So bees still coming out of the nukes. So they're alive still. Right now, if I've got a concern of any of these hives, the one that makes me wonder the most is this one over here, because within hours, this poo 
coming down. When these bees come out, there's, uh, they're defecating immediately. And that's a sign that they've got some digestive distress going on. And there's some on the outside of the hive already causing the snow to stain a little bit. So of all of my hives, this is the one that I've seen that's only showing a little outward signs of problem. Every day, all around here is heavily soiled and more than the average bees coming out to die. But it still could make it. It doesn't look, ter doesn't look terrible. I mean, that staining on the front of the hive is negligible. That's typical. But relative to the others, it stands out. Can't see it right now, but in the uh, coming hours, it'll change. Today is actually going to get into the 40s, or it might nudge the 40s, for the first time in about six weeks, seven weeks. So today, tomorrow, might get even into the higher 40s. We could have our first decent-sized flying event. We shall see. over here as well. I can see a bee in front of the hive there already. So signs of life everywhere. I think just about every hive has after a few hours a few dead bees in front of it which is this time of year a great sign. So, a lovely morning in Maine. You have to come up here for holiday sometime, you folks. I mean, they do call it vacation land, with very good reason. You should see it in the summer. It might be a few weeks yet before we get in the pool. This is where I go flat on my backside on the ice. And I get to go on the bloopers reel for some time this year. Hopefully not. Well, that was good. I only filled it up again yesterday. And I got a one pound and a two pounder taken out. So we'll see if who likes this this kind of video or not. I uh, thought I'd give it a try just doing a, a video about not a lot, but uh, 
just to give you an idea of how things look in, in uh, Maine in, towards the end of February. As days go, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's gonna be, gonna be warm, nice change. I'm Peter Carroll on the Bee Whisperer. See you next time.